welcome to the Chibitronics channel. It's Sarah from Sarah Stamp and Retreat here and I'm really excited to share with you my floral light up monogram card today. So we're going to create this pretty card together and you can see that the J lights up when you press the push here button. So we're going to be using the animating LED stickers, the white fade ones from Chibitronics. We're going to be using this J from the Mega Alphabet from Alternate and we're going to be using my favourite Bee Bulb Blooms from Spellbinders. To start with I want to create a circuit. So I'm going to place my J where I want it on this piece of maroon cardstock and that is four by five and a quarter inches. And I'm just going to die cut that there. And then I've also die cut the J in white cardstock. So I want to add some holes in the white cardstock J for our lights to come through. So then I'm going to place this J over this piece of white cardstock that I've cut a little bit smaller than the maroon cardstock. So then I'm going to just trace that with a pencil. Then I'm going to place my J over that space and I'm just going to trace through those holes that we punched in it. So those circles represent where we want our lights to be. You can see our lights, this little yellow bit in the middle is the actual light and then it's a heart so it's got a wider bit at the top that's the plus the positive side and a more pointy bit at this side so that's the negative side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this shape here on my stencil. This is the craft stencil from Chibitronics. And I'm going to place that over each one. So the circle that I've drawn is in the middle. And then I'm going to trace around that. And that will let me know where I want to place my electric tape. So you can see I'm keeping it so that the flat bit is at one side and the pointy bit is at the other side. And that is because we're going to use our tape to join up the flat bits and the pointy bits. So then I'm going to grab this. In here I've got a switch. And so you can see here that the bottom of our switch is the negative part and the top is the positive part. So I've lined this up in line with the negative or pointy part of our lights. So I'm going to use some of this Chibitronics conductive fabric tape. You get 10 meters in each roll so it lasts for ages. And I'm just going to add this on this negative part here and then I'm going to join up all of these negative areas of the light, so the pointy parts that we drew on the lights. And you want the tape to go over the pointy parts that you've drawn on. And then I can just chop this off where I've got to the end. So that's the negative part of our circuit. So to make that clear, I'm going to add a blue line to there. And then we need another piece of the wire, the same, exact same wire, it's going to be the positive. So this time we're going to put it over the top of the switch like this. And I'm going to come across here. The only important thing really is that it doesn't touch that negative tape. And then this time I'm going to cover up that other side of the stenciled pieces. So this is going to be our positive side. And then once we get to here, I can chop that off again. So let's label that up so that it's easy to see what we've done. So the positive has gone up here, over the top, and then it's gone all the way round here, so along this positive side. So you can see the red and the blue lines never cross. So then the next thing that I can do is just grab my white fade stickers and I want to make sure the big positive side is on this side where I've labelled it positive. So I'm going to lay these across here and you want to make sure that the middle is where that dot is that we drew on here and that the positive side goes on this on here and the negative side crosses over that 
piece of wire. They all need to face the same way. So the larger area is on the positive side and the more pointy area of the heart is on the negative side. And then to make the magic happen, we want to add in our battery holder. And then I've got this pack of really inexpensive flat batteries. And you can see they're all slightly different. I've got three different types here and they all work in here. They just need to be those flat batteries. And now if I press that down, you can see that these are all light enough. So then what I'm going to do is to add tape around the edge of here. Then I've got a piece of vellum that measures three and three quarters by five inches and I'm going to glue that onto the back of our template. I'm going to add this over here so I want to make sure it lines up with that circuit below. So then the next thing I'm going to do is grab this push here stamp set from Lawn Form and then I'm just going to heat emboss that onto some of this cardstock. I'm going to heat emboss it with this Wow Polished Gold Super Fine Embossing Powder. So I'm going to cut it out with the coordinating die and then I've got all of these flowers and leaves that I've cut from the Bee Bold Blooms die set I showed you earlier. So I'm just going to cut that edge off there so that I can put that on there. And then I'm going to add my push here on a fine pad. And I'm going to use that kind of as a centre on that flower. So now that I've got this covered, I'm going to just chop the edges off the sides easier to do that from the back because then you can see what you're actually chopping off and you can use the edges guide. So then for my sentiment today I've used this happy birthday sentiment which is from this mini everyday sentiment set from Spellbinders and I've hot foiled that. Obviously if you don't have a hot foil machine you could also get a similar type of look by heat embossing your sentiment with some gold embossing powder. So I'm going to add these onto my card I want to add them on with foam pads, but obviously I don't want to cover up any of these holes because otherwise our lights won't shine through. So I'm going to add foam pads behind here, but I'm going to be careful of where I'm placing them. So then I'm going to pop this in here. You can see that those lights will just shine through those holes nicely. And then I'm going to add some foam pads behind my sentiment as well. And then the final thing to do is just add that to my card blend. So then there's our final card and look how pretty that is when that lights up. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed today's card. If you did, I'd appreciate you clicking like below and you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when there's a new video available. All of the products that I've showed on today's card are linked in the description below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.